Hi guys, Daz is finally back with a special anniversary comic book haul, episode 182. And I say anniversary because I recently turned 50. Yep, half a century. I'm going to be showing some of the things I've picked up during my birthday period. It's been an ongoing one and I'm going to talk a little bit more about it as we go along. But before we continue, if I could perhaps ask you for a subscription, a like, a share, a comment, ding that bell for notifications, it all really helps my low grade productions. Okay, so like I said, I turned 50 on March 11th and I had a big 50th birthday party a little, little while before that. And it was a great evening, a load of my mates came along whether it be from the chess club, the pub I work at, the school I work at, just friends from outside of those things. And I'm going to show you some of the things I picked up when it comes to the geeky stuff. Now, I actually picked up a Man United shirt because I'm a big Manchester United fan. I'm a big Pittsburgh Steelers fan. I picked up two uh, NFL jerseys, Pittsburgh ones, which were fantastic. And I got this shirt from my good friend Katrina, who I work with at the pub. It is a horror comic book themed shirt, and it comes from the clothing company Black Magic. To go with that, she also got me this really cool birthday card. We all know the Thor comic books. And there it says on the front cover, safe. Uh, have a super, I need my glasses, have a super mighty birthday Dazzy. So that was a real nice touch from Katrina that I enjoyed. And uh, then my other friend, Nathan, he got me some Star Wars pops. First up, we have the First Order Stormtrooper from the sequel trilogy. Trying to been trying to avoid pots because if I get into that as well, oh, I don't know where it would stop. <laughs> we got Ray, of course, she's going to be leading star of an upcoming movie. We got Poe Dameron, one of my favourite characters from pretty average sequel trilogy. And finally, I got my favourite character from the sequel trilogy. And that was Kylo Ren. So massive thank you to Nathan. And like I said, I got a Man United shirt with Dazzy on the back. And that was from my good friend, friends Serena and Dids. They also got me this really witty birthday card, I thought. In a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> there was an old person. It was you. The end. You and my love of Star Wars. And talking of Star Wars, I just watched the Star Wars trailer for The Acolytes. And it's been getting terrible reviews and comments on the YouTube while I've been watching. But uh, I actually was quite taken by it. It's, we've got nothing to base it against at the moment, guys. So just give it a chance. We've got a Wookiee Jedi. That's got to be worth something. I'm excited for it. Of course, the rise of the Sith and the beginning of the Jedi, really. And then another gift I got was from uh, Alison who I work with. She's one of my bosses at school. And this is a, she may handmade this herself, which was fantastic. Daza, 50 years of being marvelous. I just thought it was fantastic. A real nice touch. And then my good friend, Matt, well, I picked up a, a nice lot of comics from recently, including the first appearance of Electra. He knows how big of a comic book fan I am. He is a comic book artist as well. He has, has done a couple of uh, the independent books around our way. And uh, he did a fantastic... Because he knows Wolverine is my favourite Marvel character. He did this for me, which I thought was brilliant. Happy birthday, Daza. Yeah, happy 50th. Cracking stuff. Look at that. Many, many thanks to Matt. And like I said, I've got numerous other gifts, but uh, I'm just running through the geeky stuff at the moment. 
and let's get into the comic books because I actually got two comic books as a uh, a gift from my chess buddy Billy and uh, Paige so thank you guys for you know they're not comic book people but they went into Cheltenham and they picked up a couple of key issues for me now this is one I already own and I actually had it signed by David Finch and I'm actually holding this book in my avatar pick but you can't go wrong with this one guys this is a, a nice little key it is New Avengers issue 11 and of course this is a where the first appearance of Maya, Maya Lopez as Ronin, formerly Echo. We've seen that in the MCU. Great book. Brian Michael Bendis and David Finch. And then I picked, they, they got me this one, which was a nice little surprise. This will be going in the PC. This is the premier variant to X-Men. I think this is the 2000 and could be 19 run. It could be wrong there. It could be 2023. But this is the first appearance of the X-Men team comprised mostly of the Summers family, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Prestige, uh, Vulcan, Corsair, Havoc, uh, Young Cable and Wolverine. It's the first appearance of the death of Dr. Mars. Uh, this is an incentive to restore Lenel Francis U premier cover. And this book goes for double figures on eBay and a uh, a great pickup. Thank you very much, Billy. So, like I say, stay tuned because I picked up a cracking modern day issue in a local charity shop. But the first book I'm going to show you is a book that recently became a key on Key Collector App. I was going back to list this. I thought, let's put it back in the PC. This is Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider. And this is where Johnny Blaze becomes the King of Hell. Picked us up in Cheltenham way back in 2000, 2018 for £3.50. Stunning cover. And that comes from uh, Clayton Crane. And then I picked this one up at the car boot. I'm a massive fan of the uh, Kick-Ass franchise. Particularly the first film. The second film not so much. But I believe they're going to be rebooting all that. This is Kick-Ass issue 1. The director's cut. I picked this up at car boot, the local car boot, for two quid. Now we, will, of course, it is the first appearance of Kickass. It was David David Lizwiski, uh, the star of the first two Kickass movies, uh, playing by Aaron. Is it Aaron Taylor? Uh, guy who's going to be playing Craven anyway. Uh, like I say, already had the original issue one. This is the director's cut. Into a local antique shop and uh notice this one goes for double figures on a good day this is x-force issue 129 and a scarce final issue to the run that one will be getting listed so yeah a little while ago i picked up a first silver age appearance of catwoman lois lane book we all know it. And I picked it up from a good friend, John. Got it home. Went to have a little flick through it. And realised that some of the pages were missing to my heartbreak. He's a great guy, John. Didn't realise it himself. Uh, so I had some store credit. I, this is my second uh, venture into the store credit, I believe. And... Uh, just picked up a few pound books from him. This is The Adventures of the Mask, issue number two. I picked up issue one uh, a little while ago and I, I sold that for double figures. Scarce Books, Dark Horse Comics. I sold one of these as well the other day. Let's get another one. Uh, this is Dark Horse Classics Predator Jungle Tales, issue number one. I'm a massive Predator fan. I'll give this a read probably first and then uh, sell it on. I've got the first appearance of Predator in comics and Alien. Then this is a book that was on recently on the top 10 and top 20 as a cover price and key collector and things like that because uh, there were rumours that we were going to be getting a female Silver Surfer in the MCU. Of course, the Fantastic Four has now been uh, announced. I'm not sure about Pedro Pascal. I love him as an actor, but... 
Reed Richards, I'm not so sure about that one. Anyway, Silver Surfer. This is a, a book that is a, a little known title. This is Nithman, issue 11. This is the first appearance of Dr. Candy Goodstroke, who becomes a Silver Surfer homage. Pick this up for a pound. This was going around about seven, eight quid at one point. I can't imagine there are too many copies of this book out there. So I upgraded my copy and the other one is listed. And uh, this was an unusual book. I like little quirky books like this. Not sure how many of you know about this. This is from Image Comics. This is Homage Studios Swimsuit Special. Why don't I pick this one up, guys? Well, it goes for a few quid. That's why. It's in the PC because it is the first interior artwork by J. Scott Campbell, known as Jeffrey Scott. Two pinups and a uh, caricature page featuring the artist who worked on the issue. First artwork in comics by Brett Booth. And Booth's art appeared in advertisements prior to this issue. Not an easy one to find by all accounts. Happy to add that to the PC. And then, of course, we recently had the Deadpool 3 trailer. This book got hot because of it. Uh, I'm excited to see that film. I'm, a ma as you know, a massive uh, Wolverine fan. And I like Ryan Reynolds as well. This book was uh, talked about during the trailer for it. This is Secret Wars, issue number five. Yeah, I found a copy. First appearance of Night Machine, an alternate reality uh, Nik uh, Nikola uh, Tesla. Now, the cover art appears to have been an Easter egg in the first trailer of Deadpool and Wolverine. So uh, look out for that. Uh, this book, 15, 20 quid on a good day now. Not bad for a pound. Then I hit up uh, the local gaming shop here in Gloucester. I've done very well there over the years. Uh, some of the best books I've probably picked up. First Man Bat for a tenner. First Dark Side for a tenner. Um, first Dead Man for a tenner. You know, <laughs> really big books. Just a couple of pickups for a pound. This is a Silver Age book. Don't see anything on it, but I always sell these for five plus. This is Rocky Mountain King. Issue number 64. And like I said, I think it's from 1960, if I'm not mistaken. UK publication. There's always an audience for these kind of books, along with things like Classic Illustrated. And I was, I was amazed how much this one goes for. Really amazed. Um, and we're talking 15, 20 quid. This is a recent book. And I've got the original book of this this is The Haunted Mansion, issue number one. This is the second series. Now, I was gifted um, a Haunted Mansion number one, the first appearance of The Haunted Mansion, by my good friend JT Rogers from Across the Pond. Well, this book is a five-issue limited series based on The Haunted Mansion attraction at Disney Parks. Eh, another pickup for a pound. Like I say, 15 to 20 quid book. I'm stunned by it. That will be getting listed. So, I spoke earlier about a really good modern day find. And I went over to Cheltenham. And we went over to see a film in IMAX. Me and my boys. And that was Interstellar. And I enjoyed it when it first came out. But when you watch it on the big screen after all, all that time. Yeah, it did pull on my heartstrings a little bit. And, uh. You can't beat the screen and the sound for it in there. But before we went into the Cheltenham IMAX, I hit up a local charity shop there in Oxfam, I believe it is. I've done very well over there in the year over the years as well. Picked up the first desk stroke for one pound fifty. This is another nice pickup for one pound fifty. Actually, I'll tell a lie. It was seventy five p. First book I picked up for one pound fifty was Once and Future issue number eight. Now, I sold a copy of this one for around about 9 to 10 quid recently. Why is this one a little bit of a key? Well, this went on sale during the time frame many comic shops were shut down, mostly due to the COVID-19 mandates. So, uh, scarce book, 
and people like it. So, what did I finally uh, grab? It is not the highest of grade. Probably, I don't know, VF minus, fine plus. But it's a scarce book. Uh, I picked up two books and uh, they worked out at 75p each. Teen Titans Go. They are scarce over here, believe it or not. I don't find many of them, especially the keys. But, you know, this one was there. It was part of a two in two in a same packet. So 75p. Teen Titans Go issue. What's that? 24. It's a beater, really. But the reason I paid the £1.50, guys, or 75p a comic, is this one. And this one was around about 80 to 100 at one point. I remember it going crazy. It's around about 35 to 40 as we speak. What did I pick up? Teen Titans Go! Issue 23 for 75p. The first appearance of Red X revealed to be a robot. Uh, for completeness... Check for Batman Puzzle Game Insert in the centre of the book. And that is included in there. So a great find for just 75 pence. That's it guys. I have got a massive haul I'm going to be bringing to you shortly. And that is my haul that I picked up at the Birmingham Con at the end of last year. Thanks for all your support. I know many of you have been with me a long time now. And uh, the content will keep coming. It's just not as much now i'm not picking up as many books because i'm pretty happy with my collection and I, i'm putting in a lot of time with my boy and his chess and my other son is athletics and uh football life gets in the way but uh and my daughter got a job today and uh, i'm, I'm chuffed a bits for her so uh, it's been a, good, a a great couple of weeks and it continues because on monday uh I'm getting, going away. Uh, so uh, that's going to be nice. A bit, an, a bit, another little birthday celebration for me. So um, thanks for all your support. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.